Hi, this is Pam Sherritt from Ohio State. Um, as we've talked about in the last few videos, we're really dry in Ohio. Um, certain parts of Ohio, like the Northwest area, are actually officially under drought conditions. We are about nine inches behind where we should be for precipitation for the year. So we've got some real dry uh, turf and, and soil out there right now. And the interesting thing is on Sunday, some parts of central Ohio um, got water. We had a little bit of a storm come over. And I know at my house, we got one inch of rain in 10 minutes between 5.30 and 5.40. We had this 10 minute shower with one inch of rain. And unfortunately, the majority of that water ran off. Uh, it did not infiltrate into the soil. Um, the reason for that being our soils are very hard and very compacted right now. And when, especially when you have bare soil, where we typically don't get a lot of runoff on uh, thick turf areas, uh, dense turf areas, but on bare soil, compacted soil, what happens is uh, we have a rainfall event and the infiltration rate of that soil is much lower than uh, the precipitation or the amount of rainfall that we get. The majority of that will run off. And on bare soil, that's an environmental concern because when that, when that water runs off, it takes soil particles with it that take nutrients like phosphates and, and nitrates with it. So the infiltration rate, somewhat different to the, the uh, hydraulic conductivity of a soil. Uh, well, how we test that typically, how water moves through a soil. In a laboratory situation, they keep that soil saturated and then they'll move, they'll pour water through it and they'll measure how fast that water moves through a saturated soil. And that's done in a lab. Um, in addition to that, as I said, we have what we call this infiltration rate. Uh, Dr. Beard sometimes calls it the infiltration flux. And that's how quickly the water moves from the surface into the underlying soil. And that's, that's uh, significantly impacted by how hard the soil, which of course is compaction, bulk density, how much clay, uh, the more clay you have, the lower the rate. And sometimes thatch can have an issue too, because if the thatch gets very dry, it actually repels water, becomes hydrophobic, and that can, in, that can impede infiltration rates too. So this is what we talked about inside. Uh, when we get heavy rainfall in a short period of time, the majority of that water runs off if the infiltration rates of the soil are real low. With a nine inch deficit, what we need in Ohio right now is two or three days of steady, slow rain so that the precipitation rates do not exceed the infiltration rates of the soil. So we have about five weeks before the playing season starts and if you have these situations where you have very low infiltration rates, what can you do to improve that before this autumn playing season starts? Well, if you go back to what causes poor infiltration rates, you fix those problems. If you have a lot of clay in the soil, you need to think about soil remediation with sand or with compost. Um, Airification, cultivation techniques like deep tining, shatter tining, uh, verti draining, anything that creates these cracks and fissures in the soil to decompact those soils would help. And then thatch management, uh, surface organic matter management is also key. So we've got about five weeks. Uh, obviously you couldn't run an aerator over a, an athletic field today. The tines would break, the soil's too hard, too dry. But if we do start to get some timely rains and those soils do get a bit more moist, um, try to plan ahead, be ready, get out there with the aeration equipment, try and improve those soils and uh, hopefully we'll get some better infiltration rates in the next few weeks.